Now you may have seen me here in this space someplace else or you may have never seen me before. Let's be honest, this is my first video on this particular channel. Not a whole lot of people are going to see it. Hi, I'm Dave and I make things. Welcome to the new channel. Uh, this is a second channel that I've had. Maybe you found me from the first channel or maybe you not. Maybe you somehow through some magic of the algorithm discovered me and uh, thank you for coming. While I've got to here, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask for that like and subscribe right now because the like will help me get it to other people and the subscribe will, hey, you never know what could happen here, but let's talk about that. Like I said, I make a lot of things. That is primarily what we're gonna be talking about here on this particular channel. And if you're a creative person like me, you probably make a lot of things too. So we're gonna have a lot in common. We make all these creative things, but we may not always know what to do with them. And that can be an issue. Stuff piling up all over the place and your spouse or your family or your friends are like, your roommates are like, what are you gonna do with all of this stuff? So we need to get it out there into the world. More specifically, we need to sell it and start earning those fat stacks of cheese. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a really big fan of making money off my work. But I also recognize that the important word in that last statement is work. If I paid attention to even half of the creative people on this particular platform, I would believe that there is a veritable cash cow just waiting for me at every turn so that people just want to buy all of my creative work. All I gotta do is make the stuff and then make the money, right? There are plenty of ways to make money off of your creative work and some of them are more lucrative than others. But which one is best for you? I wanna introduce you to somebody. This is Daniel Inski. He's like one half of the very popular photography and videography group called Mango Street. He also has a secondary channel that's just his name and he talks about you know investments and side hustles and trying to find experimental new ways of generating income for himself. I stumbled across his channel a little bit earlier in the year and I've been a big fan of it ever since. I'm not a huge investor. I do have investments, but I'm not following every single thing that he does. I just like the way that he presents the content. So recently he posted up a question on his community tab and he said something to the degree of uh, what other things would you like me to talk about besides just investing? And I mentioned that, hey, I would like to see more stuff about creative pursuits. And that's when the light bulb went off over my head. And it burst wide open and fell upon me like a dusty sparkle of inspiration where I said to myself, wait, why don't I do that? Now here we are at the precipice of a rocket to the moon or a steep decline into burnout. I don't know. We'll see. It could honestly go either way at this point. But wait, Dave, you already have a channel that's already growing faster than you could ever anticipate. Why don't you just post on there? Great question, but with some very solid evidence to the contrary. My other channel is not It's still small. It's a really small channel, but it's been growing a lot. And it's been growing a lot really fast lately, which is cool that I'm super stoked about. But here's what I found out in my very long journey to even get to 5,000 subscribers on that channel, which I'm not there yet, but I should be soon. The most important thing you need to understand is that the YouTube algorithm absolutely hates random content on channels, especially small channels. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is what happened here. And you can imagine that even before all this, it was essentially more of the same. I had almost zero growth for many, 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 many years. This is the last 365 days on that channel. And right here is where I started talking about the Affinity Photo stuff and some growth for a very long time. And then all of a sudden right here, this is where I started talking about Affinity more and more. And my numbers have just been bananas. That sudden explosion of views and subscribers is all around the idea that I finally decided to focus my energy on a very specific niche, which just happens to be the Affinity Creative Suite. I don't wanna to go too deep into that right here because it's not important for this particular channel, but what's important is that as soon as I started focusing my energy on that content, to the moon, Alice. This channel is nothing right now. There's nobody here. The few people that are here, thank you. But there's really virtually nobody here watching this stuff right now, and so it's gonna take me some time. I wanna see if I can catch this one up. Can I move this one at even faster pace because of all the things that I've learned while doing mistakes on the other one. <laughs> but let's talk about all the types of content that you're actually gonna see on this channel. Number one, gonna talk about different ways of making money from the art that I've already got or that I'm going to make. Number two, finding different ways to express my creativity in ways and opportunities that I might not have seen before. And all that while still bringing the raw, straight dope approach to how much time, energy, and effort and value that you're, I'm going to get from doing the work and how much value you're gonna get from watching me do it. There's a whole lot of people in here telling you that you can make six figures from your art, and it's definitely a possibility, but what a lot of people don't tell you 
is the reality of how much it takes to earn $100,000 a year from your work. So if we're talking about how the different ways that you can make money from like say t-shirt design, you can make actual t-shirts, you can have them screen printed and sell them online or sell them at shows. You can do print on demand t-shirts. You can make illustrations for other people to use on t-shirts. What about making t-shirts for like very particular type of niches? Like I wanna make a whole series of coffee shirts, make a whole series of shirts for nurses, shirts for different holidays, a series of shirts for specifically to a particular music genre. There are all these different ways to experiment within a small category of thing, and then we're gonna go and expand into other things. So the opportunity for content is huge, but it also allows me to kind of stay really tight in the niche of, hey, I'm a creative and I wanna make money. I'm gonna talk about the process of making, I'm gonna talk about the process of sharing on different platforms, whether that's on selling platforms or social platforms. And because I don't expect to make fast money on any of this stuff, I will also be going back and revisiting the things that I've made over like say down to 30 days, another 120 days, and just be saying, hey, look, remember that thing I did back then? Well, it's been 30 days out and this is how much money I made. 120 days out, this is how much money I made. Sometimes these videos are gonna be independent of themselves and sometimes they're gonna overlap other videos. Like say, for instance, I want to make certain types of t-shirts but they also happen to go in the same shop as the other type of t-shirts that I made. I'm not gonna be all about t-shirts, but you know, you're probably gonna see a lot of t-shirts. The purpose here is to design or create new things and then make them grow as well as also building upon previous successes. What I anticipate is that it's gonna take me maybe a couple of weeks to do some of these things, so you might see videos from me every other week for now, and if I start to find a rhythm, then you'll see more. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's, that's the goal. And there will be more content coming in the future, obviously. If you have any questions or comments or things that you think I should investigate, what kind of products to make, where I should make them, the questions that you have about these different things, go ahead and put them in the comments below. And while you're headed down there, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because you never want to miss a thing. Now, if you want to see more of the nuts and bolts of how I design things, go head over to my other channel where things are certainly heating up over there. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, go make more stuff.